All right, let's talk about the new KW Command Campaigns applet and which of the 12 campaign types that you should be running in order to make sure you actually have leads coming in for the dollars that you are putting out. Now, there's been a lot of discussion in the Facebook groups. I've also had people reach out saying either I'm not getting leads or I'm not sure where to start. And if that is you, then this video will hopefully answer that for you. So we'll just break it down simply to say that we have 12 different options now and that you can avoid nine of them and just stick with these first three right here. The reason I recommend these is because they have the Facebook lead form automatically included. In the old campaigns experience, you would have to toggle that option on. And if you've ever watched any of my videos, you'll know that probably 99% of the time that people said I ran Facebook ads in command and I didn't get any leads, it's because they forgot to toggle on that one button. However, these three campaigns, or really these four, but I'd focus on these three and it eliminates that option altogether. What it's going to do is when you run a campaign through one of these three options, it's going to run it on both Facebook and Instagram. It'll automatically resize the image as needed, depending on the different uh, platform type that it's running on, or if they're on desktop or mobile, it's going to automatically include the Facebook lead form. So once they click on the image, or once they click on the ad, it will generate a lead form for them to fill out, pre-filling it out with their information because Facebook knows everything. And then once they hit submit, it will take them to whatever you send them to. I still always recommend like going to a property website like this. So they've already given us their info and then they got the info that they requested. So I stick with these three right here. Venturing into any of these, especially these two, these two are monthly recurring subscriptions with Google that start at $250 a month. I don't recommend this probably for 99% of people right now until you really understand what Google ads are and how those leads are captured versus Facebook. And then all these other ones, when they're these yellow tags, it's using your landing page instead of the Facebook lead form, right? So that's more sending them to a website. So like if we went back to this property details page, it'd be more like sending them here and hoping that they fill out this contact agent here or at the bottom of the website, or just kind of depends on what different landing page you send them to. But either way, it's just getting more complicated. When we stick with these three, it's easy. Now, the big question that I've seen be asked is, not just which of these three, but should I use a single image or video or should I use the multi-image carousel? And you'll kind of see sometimes people swear by one or the other, and that's because it changes. It can depend on your local area. It can depend on the listing and how the images look and how people are engaging with it. And it can also just depend on how the market in general is reacting. For a long time, the image, the multi-image carousel was far outperforming single images for us and a, a in recent times, it's kind of shifted back towards single images, as long as it's one killer image has been doing better. But we're taking it one step further and moving into this multi-listing carousel, because what this is allows us to do is actually generate multiple listings on the same ad. What Facebook is going to do is it's actually going to run essentially a bunch of different ads where sometimes this will be the first image, sometimes this will be the first, sometimes this will be the first. Whichever one's performing best, it'll push that one out more for us, and we don't have to manage any of it. We just say, this is how much I want to spend on a campaign and go. You can see this is all auto-populated too. I have another video that explains how to do this, but this one says five bedrooms in Felton, two bedrooms in Santa Cruz, right? It's pulling different listings for me that I pre-select out of my office listings in order to generate an ad like this. This ad right here, this specific ad generated 18 leads in four days for under $2 a lead. It's by far the highest performing ad that we've had in quite some time through command. We're in a very high price point market, so you might also be able to find um, results that are even cheaper than that. But either way, I think in most markets, if we're below $2, we're doing pretty well. So anyways, again, just to recap, I would stick with these three right here. Unless you're highly experienced and want to venture into Google, then you can move into these down here. But these three right here where we're using a property, it can either be single images or multi-images, or you can use multiple properties. It's going to go to both Facebook and Instagram and uses your lead form. Again, I have another video that explains how to do this uh, multi-listing carousel that I will link below. And if you ever have any questions, feel free to reach out.